Here at Wildcat TV, we will always remember the victims of 9-11. We thank all of the brave men and women who risked their lives that day. I do walking tours of the 9-11 Memorial for the 9-11 Tribute Center. And I meet people on my tours from all four corners of the globe. On every one of my tours, I mention that most people don't remember what they did yesterday. But I have had so many guests on my tours come up to me and say that they remember every single detail about where they were and what they were doing on September 11th, regardless of where they're from. When you talk to anybody, say, you know, and you tell them where you were on September 11th, they'll tell you exactly where they were, because even though they may not have been in the building, but they'll definitely remember where they were. My cousin was in Pearl Harbor. My father and grandfather remember Pearl Harbor. These generations will need to remember. I think it's important to try to remember some tragedies. Remember that life can be very precious and can, uh, can be gone in a flash. These are emotional memories that cannot be translated into a textbook. These are stories that we tell people and hopefully the generation will understand this here and bring it forward to the next generation. I feel that a lot of people use September 11th to remember the wrong things, to remember the divisions instead of what brought us together. And I think as more and more time goes by, more and more people just remember the hate that caused that act instead of the love that followed it. We were all one that day. People from New York, D.C., all over the country and all over the world, everybody was united. I think that's why everybody remembers where they were, because everybody's heart was here. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember September 11th. I remember September 11th. I remember September 11th. I remember September 11th. I remember September 11th.